In our first special report from Sarawak, reporter Dina Murad ventured into BN stronghold Sato. The incumbent, Dato Amar Abang Johari Tun Openg, has held the seat since 1981. Right in the heart of Kuching, Sato constituency is one of the few urban seats in the state capital. But there are a few traditional Malay villages in this area whose voters have supported BN for decades. Commenting on the Medeka Centre survey, in which 815 voters were interviewed for this election, Dr. Faisal Haziz shares his insights. This is an interesting uh, um, constituency, although it's an urban constituency, but it's predominantly made up of Malay Kampung. When James Brook came here in 1841, he came across uh, this Kampung uh, during his first uh, you know, journey to, to Sarawak. The incumbent is uh, Dato Abang Johari Edo Rahman. Uh, he's one of the senior Sarawak ministers. I think this basically a seat for Barisan National to win, hands down. BN owes its success in Sato to this man who has won every election since the 80s. It has been a BN stronghold. It depends on how you serve uh, the electorate. And you must have certain vision uh, to transform the area. Sato traditionally is a Malay area. If you pass through this road, these are all new commercial buildings. And then uh, it is not easy to transform. You must have certain agreement from the landowners. We speak to a few voters to share their thoughts on Abang Johari as their assemblyman. Memang bagus lah bagi saya lah macam itu jembatan di laut tu kan. Kode lama dekat situ. Lama sudah isu isu itu tapi dah okey sekarang. Dia tolong orang kampung bikin masjid apa agak-agaknya PPP lah kenal lah. Menang. <laughs> Abang Johari itu satu YB yang bertanggungjawab, selalu turun padang, selalu mengatasi masalah penduduk. Lah. Ketika banjir ke, kemarau ke, dia memang prihatin. While the election result still remains to be seen, it looks like the opposition will face a tough time going up against Abang Johari.